Hello, my friends. Welcome once again to Faith Walk 101. We are so glad <laughs> that you could join us. You know, I said in our last lesson that something is coming, something that is so big, it's going to swallow up a lot of people. It's going to be a sad ending. Oh, I'm not trying to scare you. I, well, I'm just telling you from what the scriptures talk about. So first of all, I want to lay this foundation. And the foundation that we're going to always operate on is truth. I know a lot of people don't want to look at the truth. But this is what's keeping miss a lot of people from understanding what is happening to them. The truth. We need the truth to start our foundation. We're going to build our foundation on the truth. And a lot of people are building their foundation on a lot of emotional falsehoods. It's building a foundation on uh, sinking sand. It's not going to hold up. Uh, so uh, what I want to first, as I lay this foundation, I want people to really understand, and a lot of people really don't get this, that there is really nothing that's free. If you get something for free, if I get something for free, all that means is somebody paid for it. <laughs> That's, that's just simple as that. And a lot of people fail to understand that. What about our salvation? It's free. Yes, it is. But Jesus paid the price. He paid for it. There is nothing free. Anytime you get something for free, all that means is somebody paid for it. And so if you're getting it for free, like I said, somebody has to pay for it. Yes, salvation is free, but we know Jesus paid the price. Uh, because you want it uh, and because you say you need it, uh, then a lot of times people feel like they're entitled to have it. And they don't really understand that someone has to pay for it. It's causing a lot of people to make a lot of eternally ending mistakes, a lot of eternally ending decisions by not really understanding the concept of free. Uh, and what's sadly, and I think what causes, it's gonna cause a lot of people have a very sad ending is they really don't wanna understand the concept of free. It's a, it comes down to, I really don't care uh, who pays for it as long as I get what I want. But my friend, the final bill for behavior, for getting everything, free without truly understanding that it's not free, it's going to be your soul. It's going to be your life. And we must really truly understand that everything that is received that is free has to be paid for by someone. Jesus paid our sin debt. I promise you this. Satan will not pay your debt. He's not going to do it. But Jesus has paid a debt for us. So listen to what uh, the book the, it says in the book of Revelation, chapter thirteen, uh, chapter thirteen, sixteen through seventeen. He said, "The beast, this, uh, a beast, required all the people, small and great, rich and poor, <laughs> free or slave. He required the people to receive a mark on their right hand or forehead." so that no one could buy or sell unless they had the mark, the name of the beast, the number of the name. In other words, people were selling their soul just to continue to get something for nothing. My friends, there's going to be a price to pay uh, for the things that you think is free. You see, many don't understand this free concept, and it's going to cost them their very soul. And that's what I say, there's something coming that's going to swallow up a lot of people because a lot of people are very dependent on free stuff. Now, don't get me wrong. I like free stuff. I enjoy it. But when you go through life thinking that everything that you get, that you're going to spend the rest of your life getting something for nothing, that is just not realistic, my friends. And you must think about who pays for all of these things that you're getting. But in the end, the enemy is going to um, 
say that the only way that you can get, only way that you can buy or sell is you got to pledge allegiance to him, the enemy, Satan. And people will do it willingly because you have developed this mindset of you feel like you're entitled to get things without ever having to pay the cost. But there is going to be a price to pay. And we're seeing it today in our world. So many people are hurting. So many people are, are seeking and trying to survive in this world. But you know, Jesus says, if you seek him first, all these things will be added to you. He will provide for us. I really do believe that. But the world is saying that I'm going to give you all these different things. And all you have to do to receive it is nothing. <laughs> now, does that make sense? Someone has to pay in the end. And my friends, if you don't recognize, if you don't understand this concept of free means that someone else pays, then you will buy into uh, what the enemy is selling. Satan will not pay your debts in the end. But we have a Savior who did. He died on the cross for us. And what we're seeing in our world is so many people believe and feel like that they sh they're entitled to have all the things that they think they want and they need. But what we truly need is our Lord Jesus Christ. This is so important. The scriptures is talking about it. God is telling us. The Bible is history written in advance. And in the Old Testament, we have all these examples. And now Paul is telling us uh, to help us to understand these things. My friends, we want to trust God. The enemy, what he is selling or what he is giving away is not free. It's costing people their souls. And people are making uh, bad decisions because they really believe that they're entitled to get the things they want and they don't really understand the concept of free. So many people went before us and died so that we could enjoy the freedom that we have. And as a result, we feel entitled a lot of times. We dismiss uh, those that uh, went before us. There's always a price to pay for freedom. Thank you, my friends. Continue to join us on Faith Walk 101 as we talk more about these things.